All right, so I know this. I read this article in a video uh, a little while ago. I think it was yesterday, but just going to cover it again just to add some points I forgot to add in my other video about the corrupt fruits of atheism here in Canada. Basically, what's going on is there are these militant secularists who are basically just a bunch of pawns for you know, their father, Satan, and they're basically violating the religious liberty and liberty of conscience of pretty much any non-secular person. This is the fruits, the uh, authoritarian communist fruits of militant secularism. And as an ex-atheist, I'm a former atheist, by the way, as an ex-atheist, uh, this kind of ticks me off because atheism was the cult that I escaped out of, that I got saved out of. We're going to read this article. Oh, and by the way, too, Psalms 14 verses 1 to th sorry, sorry, Psalms 14 verse 1 to 3, and Psalms 53 verses 1 to 3, give a per perfect description of the abominable corrupt fruit of atheism. We're going to read this article uh, about, and again, I read it in my other video yesterday. But we're going to read this again. Un-Canadian law bans Christian cross, Jewish kibba, and Muslim hijab. Quebec elementary school teacher resigned from class over hijab due to Bill 21 on December 9th. As an Ahmadi, again, I'm not, probably not saying that name right, a Muslim woman living in Canada, this news is extremely unsettling. I feel not only for the Muslim woman who can run, who can no longer wear the hijab to work, but also for the Christian who can't wear the cross, the Jewish man who is forced to remove his kippah, and the Sikh who is forced to remove their turban, and anyone else who is forced to choose between their faith and career due to this very un-Canadian law. It's kind of funny for people who say, oh, God doesn't exist. They're really desperate to try to force us to not express our belief in God. Now, obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not defending these other, you know, false religions. I'm not, I'm not defending them. But freedom of expression and liberty of conscience is a right. And see, this is why I've said that militant atheism is a threat to freedom and liberty. Okay. Militant atheism, the fruit of militant atheism, if you want to see the fruit of militant, if you want to just see the fruit of atheism in general, go to North Korea or go to China. Because those are examples of the, or the Soviet Union. There's another good example of the fruit of atheism. And it's funny, they banned the Christian cross. Uh, you know, let me just pull this out. Because, I mean, isn't this just so offensive? I mean, seriously, this is just, it's, oh man, it's so scary. It's a cross, you know what I mean? I, I mean, to all the atheists out there, doesn't just, doesn't this just scare you so much? You know, I guarantee you on Halloween, you probably are more terrified of this than you know, any of the, of the demonic entities you like to dress up of as, like I did when I was an atheist. But like, oh no, it's a cross. Isn't that just so scary? Bunch of free speech hating devils, that's what you are. Continuing. While it was claimed that Bill 21 was passed to further secularize Quebec, its whole premise ironically promotes the opposite. Secularization was meant to ensure that the state remained neutral toward religious affairs so people wouldn't be favored or disfavored on account of their religion or lack thereof. Bill 21 attacks the religious freedoms of Canadians, preventing them from participating in civil roles and takes away the, from the very diversity can't Canadians pride ourselves in. And I, I'd even go a step further and say that it's just an example of the authoritarian fruit of atheism. Okay, atheists rely on censorship. That's just bl blunt and brutal. Okay, atheists have to censor people that don't believe like them. That it just that's just a blunt and brutal reality. Look at China, state enforced atheism. North Korea, if you speak against atheism, you get shot essentially. Again, North Korea and China are examples. If you want to see the fruit of atheism, go to North Korea or China, and you'll see what atheism is really like when you let it get in power. Okay, separation of church and state. You see, atheism is also a threat to separation of church and state too. Atheism poses a danger to church-state separation because this law they passed in Quebec is actually a violation of that. Because church-state separation actually prevents the atheist tyranny over in China and North Korea. You see, atheism is, is darkness. Atheism is ignorance. Atheism is a bunch of, it's just a sci-fi death cult. It's the one I escaped out of. And they rely on censorship. And this law they're passing, you see, atheists don't like church-state separation. It's that simple. They're, they are, atheism, again, poses a danger to church-state separation. And this law is proof of that. They can't stand the idea of freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Just like the bunch of communist devils they are, they have to go censor people that don't believe in the sci-fi death cult of atheism. You may think I'm being too hard, but believe me, I'm an ex-atheist, and I've seen the darkness atheism produces. I was a victim of it. So, forgive me for being a bit hard, but atheism is destruction to the human soul, plain and simple. So I just wanted to show you guys that, just an example of the corrupt authoritarian communist fascist fruit 
of the sci-fi death cult of atheism. So anyway, just don't be deceived. Uh, again, Psalms 14, 1 to 3, Psalm 53, verse 1 to 3, Romans chapter 1, verse 18 to 32 gives a perfect description of atheism. Okay, that simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.